All right. This is Tempting Taboo. I'm here with Rose Anderson. La, 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 la. Yep. Reaction. Okay. This is the, the video. Okay. It's a uh, disabled vet. Disa disabled vet paralyzed by Muskegee police. Okay. Police lies and see Jason Williams. No, there it is right there. So it's going to be me, Rose, and Blue Puppy. We're going to be out here watching this. I want them to see this. And I want them to give a live reaction to this video. Come on, turn around. Okay, there it goes. And they're going to give a live reaction to it. I want to put it, I want to have it on the video sometimes. I'm going to keep switching back and forth. I'm probably just going to turn it around. And do just like that. So that way it will also record what's going on there. That way this and that will be done. And what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the camera. Whoop, I'm going to put the camera right there. Now actually what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to hold it. Because I'm going to be recording this. Shouldn't I be holding it? No, no. I'm going to hold it. Because I'm trying to do do my video on it. But problem is, is y'all won't let me. You know, I keep getting a whole bunch of yelling and screaming and eh from the baby. See that mess I just swept up. But um, this is, this right here is Jason Williams. And this is a guy who, da 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 da. Who? I won't wait for your sister to get out here. Well, I'm going to, I'll explain it. I think Emma was talking about him when she was telling us this guy was ripped out of his chair and paralyzed by the police officers because, turn this back around, uh, because he basically ID, or he not refused to, but he questioned showing his ID because he was trying to purchase an alcoholic beverage and his son was there and he refused to he didn't refuse to but he was asking why should his son have to show his ID well according to them it was store policy other cashiers in other states and other locations it's the cashier's discretion that's a little bit better Pull up a chair. You don't want to be in this one? Well, I want you to see this video because I want your reaction on it. It's uh, This is, I think this is the guy that Amon was talking about. That's one of the other cats. But I think this is the guy that Amon was talking about when she mentioned something about the guy was yanked out of his chair, whatever. See, there's Blue Diamond. Now, here's the thing. I want y'all's reaction on it. Come on, turn around. Okay. Here goes. I'm going to play the video. Oof. He's here. screaming out in pain. Yeah. Okay, here. I want to. Now, he's screaming out in pain. Telling him to get off his back. That means that there's something wrong there, and that he they are committing a crime by furthering an injury. Sit down. Sit down. All right, go ahead and hit play. I've done seen the video, so. Let me know if y'all want me to, if y'all can read that fast enough. Okay, wait. All right, read that out loud. To be a disabled vet attacked officers, threatened civilians before being pepper sprayed. Okay, hit play. A 
A video circulating through social media over the weekend has many... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word. Resident has many Muskegee residents up in arms by depicting Muskegee police officers subduing a man in a wheelchair who claims to be a disabled, disabled veteran. Okay, first of all, Mr. Williams is a veteran. Mr. Williams is also disabled. There is no claiming about it. Okay. The man, the man, according to police, refused to show identification to Walmart employees while trying to buy alcohol. The man became hostile and created a disturbance, Officer Lincoln Anderson said, which was when police were called to the scene. Sorry, baby. But wait, in the video, it happened this way. They were not the ones attempting to purchase the alcohol, only me. So what law has been broken? We're investing in They refused to sell me alcohol because I told them they didn't need my wife's ID because I was purchasing it. That's what happened. That's the information. Walmart wine and beer purchase policy. Everyone in the customer's party must be of legal age and have a valid identification. Wrong. Wrong. Only the buyer. Only the purchaser. Now, there were other, there were people in other states who, I was telling you, they made the same purchases, only they were, re they were carded if they appeared to be under a certain age. Walmart's pol policy is if you appear to be under 40, you are carded. You know how many times I've purchased an alcoholic beverage with y'all two there? And I still walked out of there with a purchase, mm -hmm. and they didn't ask for y'all's ID. I don't have an idea other than the school. So. Exactly. So that automatically states y'all are minors. Plus, I'm responsible enough. Y'all aren't going to drink mine. That's me. So, how would you feel if that happened to me? I would be pretty mad, and I would go off on the people. What about you? I'll call. Police. But they did call the cops. You saw the reaction. The cops were siding with Walmart. Now, the problem with some cops is they side with the wrong people sometimes because they don't want to be quoted their job. Now, I watched a video. Uh, I did watch a video <clears throat> not too long ago concerning firearms where the guy, the cop made the statement, there are so many laws I don't know all of them right off the top of my head, that he does have to confer with someone else on these laws that's all they have to do is say that yet, go ahead and push play so, so if, if you, you have, have a child with you no beer for you There's no crime. You don't need my ID. They refuse to leave. What? Now, okay, right here is his charges. He's got felony assault on an officer. How? Wait a minute, he's paralyzed, right? Obstruction of an officer. What did he obstruct? Disorderly conduct. Was he being, being disorderly and asking his question? He's also got trespassing. How? The do, you, do you know what trespassing is? Yes. What is trespassing? Trespassing is going onto a, another person's property without asking, without permission. My daughter knows that. Now, Ooh. didn't he say, if I can't purchase it, I'll just go ahead and leave? Mm -hmm. 
And yet they got him for trespassing. They were to leave. Yes. The man refuses to identify himself to officers. Anderson said he was told that if he didn't provide identification, he would be arrested for obstruction and still refused to identify himself. Now, in the state of Oklahoma, it is not a stop and identify state. He does not have to show his ID unless the crime is being committed. What crime did you see him being committed? None. Absolutely none. Hit play. Uh, just, 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 just watch. Oklahoma is not a stop and identify state. Person is required to show. Okay, hold on. Hold on. In okay. Mm. Hold on. We'll go back a little bit on that one. Walmart wine and beer purchase cart run. No beer for you at Walmart. Now, listen closely. Okay, okay so if you're going to back her up on this policy, then the thing for me to do is just to call it quits and leave. There's call no it crime. quits and leave. You don't need my ID. How was he Yeah, refusing? he was saying if you're going to back her up on this policy, then, it's, then the only thing I can do is call it quits and leave. But how was he? Just watch. A person is required. Ah, some bitch. Is required to show identification. Hold on. Only identification. Yeah. Only if suspected of a crime. He okay, was, what crime was being committed for him that he would have to show an identification? I don't know. I'm not from Listen. the state. I'm not required to identify myself to you. How? On my ID, it says Ohio. Whether you're willfully just not cooperating, or whether you don't understand, I mean, it's, we, we've explained to you what's what's going on, what you need to do. It's very simple. You are required to identify yourself to us. No, only a crime. You refuse to do that. Okay. I told you my name. We, we could have had you on the road already and, and halfway home, but you... Oh, well, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? This is refusal to leave. I'm not trying to bully you around. I'm trying to make sure my uh, rights are protected. Talking about the cop. Why do I identify yourself? You haven't done so. You're on. My name is. Sorry. That's it. Police must have reasonable, act, accountable no, suspicion. Yes, you do. That's part of my rights. If you're going to say there's a crime, tell me there's a crime. You can't just come up and say, "Hey, what's your idea? I'm investigating something." That's not how that works, man. No, it doesn't. And if you think that works there, Officer Schultz, then you need training. You need to be retrained. You can't just walk up and say, hey, identify yourself. If I was the you cops... You have to let me Wait. know that you think I'm involved in a crime. If I was the, that cop's mama and I seen this, I would have slapped the living hell out of him. Identify yourself. Okay, hold on. There's something... You have to let me know oh. that you think I'm involved in a crime. Uh-oh, we have to conspire and make up a crime. Okay, now, if cops ever stop you, record everything. Now, like, if somebody was to pull up right here and you see it's a cop car, grab up your phone, hit record. If you have to, go live. Because you could go live now. Go live. You see, that's what we're doing. We're going live. Mm -hmm. So go live. People will will see this as it's happening. And if you're holding, if you're holding it up like this right here, and you're showing that you're recording, and they say anything about you recording, just tell me, yeah, I'm recording this. They say, well, you're not. We don't want you recording. Well, it's my Fourth Amendment right. I can record. You are in an open and record state. And on top of it. You're out in public, plus you're a public servant. That means I can record you. You can't say no. By law, I can record you. You're 13, you're 11. And if y'all quote this to a cop, he's going to know somebody in his house knows the law. At which point you start knocking on that wall. I know the law. I know the amendments because, hello. I went through civics. I know. I had to so memorize you've already, the... you've already studied them. Oh. Studying them. Come next year, you're going to start studying them. And you're going to start learning them. I would suggest you sit down on your free time. You love to read. 
you're learning to love to read, read about your constitutional rights. Read about the laws. Know what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. It's one thing you go out and you rob a store. That's wrong. It's one thing if you... No, we don't want any of you to go. What? But just know, know the law. If a cop was to stop you and ask you for your ID, you ask them what crime is being committed. If they say, well, we just want to check your ID to identify you. State your name. Be recording it. State your name. And then look at them and go, um, I'm Rose Anderson. There, I've been identifying. Walk on. Excuse you, where are you going? Am I being detained for any reason? Yes, you are. Then what am I being arrested for? Or what am I being detained for? If they tell you that you're suspected of a crime, ask them what crime. They tell you what well, we're not at liberty to say. Um, excuse you. By law, if I'm being detained, you have to inform me as to what I'm being detained for. You cannot just show up out of the blue, not like the what, what I'm wearing or the way I look or the way I walk, and decide all of a sudden, hey, I'm going to detain you. No, you cannot. That's what I think about them. Yeah, I just farted, so what? But the point is this. They cannot stop you just randomly for whatever reason and say, I want to check your ID. They have to have a reason to want to check your ID. You also let them know that we are not in it. We do not live in a stop and identify state. Wait, I think I need to double check that, but I think we do live in a stop and identify state. But again, if we don't, then you ask them what crimes am I, what crimes are, have I committed? They have to tell you what crime they're investigating. Well, there was a, we got a call over here of a disturbance. You fit the description. Okay. So I'm being accused of something. Well, not at the moment. Then therefore, if I'm not being accused of anything, then why am I being detained? Is being an older sister of two a crime? No? Okay. Go away. So don't be sarcastic. Shit. All right? I know when I need to use sarcasm. And no matter what they say or do, you tell them flat out. If you have any questions for me, my dad will explain everything. You talk to my dad. If by any chance, any way, shape, or form, that they persist and they try to bully you. Um, you will have to refer to my counsel. My counsel is sitting in, in the living room at home. Or my, my counsel is sitting on my doorstep. Well, where do you live? Right there. Well, which one right there? Excuse you, where are, we stand, where are we standing? We're standing in front of this one, but I pointed at that one. Do you see the, that son of a bitch standing right there on the porch just looking at you like you're about to be dead meat? Oh, hi, honey. How you doing? Hi, Mom. Hi. I'm going to go get a... Uh, Rena. Lena? Rena. 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 Hey. You forget your own daughter's name. That's horrible. Do this for me. Hi. Please. I'm asking <laughs> nicely. How often do I ask nicely? Mom, you better do it. I'm not going to take... That was mine is in there too. Oh my god! Just take it! Fight, fight, fight! Oh hey, look! Now you know what? That just means we get to keep the, the stand. Oh, put that back. Okay. But pretty much basically research your laws and know your laws. I know my laws. Okay. Because he knows the law. That's why they're butt hurt, because he knows the law. Very violent, Am I you treated me extremely poorly, and I have it on video. And I need your name, first and last. I don't have to give you anything. You're being banned. But see, that's the thing. I don't have to give you right anything. Right there. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Now, look. Okay, and there's the rules. Let's see closely. 
they're going to file a complaint okay. on you no, first. No, hey. Disorder of conflict. Did you catch that? No. Now listen closely. While she's see, talking, listen thing. to him. I don't have to give you anything. Yeah. Okay, and they're, they're also signing a complaint on you. You want to know about getting them on disorderly okay. conduct? Okay. No, no. Hey. Because he was questioning. He was being inquisitive. Police told the man he would be arrested for obstruction and what he was trespassing on Walmart property. Walmart property is open to the public. Keep reading. He was asked to leave Walmart and go into his own wheelchair from the store's motorized car. At that point, Anderson said the man began to actively resist, including striking a police officer. He was then warned he would be pepper sprayed, but continued resisting. Okay, one, Walmart is for public shopping. How the flip do you trespass if, if, it, eh, if it is for public? Okay, you know some of these Walmarts I've already been kicked out of? Yeah. Because I prominently told them about the receipts. I, I, I let them know that I was not going to stand for being checked and accused of stealing. You know what excuse they gave me because of them checking the receipt was double checking my purchase. Well, that's what you got security cameras for. Yeah, yeah but then our security people would have to stop what they're doing, go and look it over and do this and do that. Wasn't well, that their job? Isn't their job supposed to be one person stays in that room and checks the monitors? And if at, in, at all possible, any questions? You got all kinds of lint and stuff in your head. I know. You but in at, in, at any point, if there's any question, that basically they look at that, then they go to the time frame, and then they look at the time frame. That's their job. These people right here feel that the reason why they wanted to go ahead and trespass them was because he was taken out of their precious time. The cops are the ones that were butt hurt because he quoted the law to them. And on top of it, he was taking away their precious time. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you didn't finish reading that. I no, did. did. Oh. Number two, one was Walmart is for everyone. The public. Public, not, pu not private property. How was he trespassing? Stupid. Okay, number two. Number two. Okay. He has it on video. If you li if you will listen closely, they were trying to figure out what to charge him with. Which was the disorderly conduct, which is what got all these others started. I just I want to know how did he hit an officer when he has it all on camera that he didn't touch anyone. He didn't touch anyone. Well, his camera, and then there's someone else taking video. That, that, that. Oh, yeah, this, this right here. Yeah. Okay, so. It's just messed up. Ah shit. Okay, so. That doesn't accommodating that would be on the, uh, would, that would be acknowledging Mr. Uh, Sergeant Wilkins that these are tickable offenses and allowing I'm not resisting arrest I'm waiting for a, I'm waiting for a supervisor like I asked because you're talking about arresting me for a tickable offense you, you've been under How arrest for several minutes now arrest. Point, you're resisting arrest by not I am not resisting arrest I am not resisting arrest I had asked to speak to a supervisor you, you need to sit up on your wheelchair immediately that I believe is the instruction of order. Order. you need to sit up on your I asked to speak to a supervisor how is that not how is that not my right I think that's what it is. how is that not my right to speak to a supervisor you speak to a supervisor not right now that is not something why, get on this side of me. You don't need to move like you're going to put hands on me. Uh, I am. Stop. Hey, Stop. I have, I cannot fight you guys. Stop this. Now, Stop notice this. how no. he stated. Get off my phone. He cannot fight. Okay. They, they touched him first. And where is he resisting? Exactly. All right. 
first of all, he caught the one moving around behind him. And he basically pointed out, you don't have to approach me like you're going to put hands on me. And the officer stated, I am. I am going to put hands on you. Just, okay, idiot. First of all, don't touch someone that has the right to be there. That's just triggering. Well, you're triggered. not you're not a feminazi. Don't get triggered. You're not a social social justice weenie. Don't get triggered. Get pissed off, yes, but get pissed off properly. Raising your voice, you're getting a little too excited there. Chill. Number one. Why do you lay your hands on this person that has the right to be there, that has the right to talk to a supervisor, that has the right to just go and buy what he wants. Because it already stated that the officers were butt hurt that he put them in their place. He knows the law. And he quoted their job to them. He quoted the law to them. Therefore, excuse me, therefore they're butt hurt by it. Because they're butt hurt by it, that's why they started in with all this. As I said, officers of the law, they're supposed to know the law. But if they, if, if, I mean, they have the right to question certain things as well. All they have to do is say, you know what, hold on. Now, th that's what you read up on. Would it hurt your feelings any if I were to double check that? Or in a quiz, inquisitive form, well, isn't it the, the law that, this and this and this is supposed to happen. You know what? Um, I'm not saying you're right and I'm not saying you're wrong. Let me double check that. Because, yeah, they're supposed to know the law, but they're not supposed to know everything. And as I said, one officer in another state concerning a firearm stated, there's so many of these laws and so many of these statutes, I don't know all of them. But I will double check. Hey, baby. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. That scared me. It scared me. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to go ahead and carry on with my little rant about this. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So number one, why lay hands on him? Number two, he said he cannot fight you. He was in a wheelchair. Do not put your hands on him. First of all, he's a veteran. Respect him. All, he fought for your rights. Second of all, he is disabled. You're going to put your hands on a disabled person? That's wrong. That is 100% wrong. What is wrong with you? You are a messed up human being. And I swear to God, if I was your mama, I would go there right now and I would slap the living crap out of you. And I will go off on you. Oh, yeah. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican, Scott Irish. Okay? We use the chancletas and we use our fists. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with my sisters. Oh, honey, boo boo. I will go Puerto Rican on your butt. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Okay? I come from a, a military family. I respect veterans. I respect people. I respect anyone that was in any of the armed forces. I thank them. Guys, you I thank see what them. I do me? Shh. Yes. It's pretty. I respect them. I am grateful that they fought for my freedom, that they fought for my rights. And the best thing is that both our grandfathers were our veterans. Oh. Jason Williams. Just look it up. Okay. He is Jason Williams is the disabled veteran that these officers had the nerve to lay their hands on. He said, I cannot fight you. He knows his rights. He knows the law. And the officers just got butt hurt. Because he relayed the law to them. I wonder. 
he knows his rights. He knows what he is capable of. After all, he is a veteran. So why are you going to lay your hands on him? Hmm? Why are you going to be mean to this human who fought for you? Why? Zay, fought for freedom. Hey, Dad. Number three. Number three. Hey, go get Brutus. He was not. Go get me Brutus. Brutus? Yeah. Oh, I want Brutus to keep an eye on me. You yeah. want Brutus to keep an eye on you? It's okay. Oh, that is pretty. What? Number three. How was he? Hey, I'm sitting here in here to get It just. How was he being disrespectful to the police officers whenever he can't fight? He can't. He, he even stated, he even stated, I can't fight you. And then they took him down on the ground. They took him down. Why would you do that? Just why? Hey, Daddy. Yes? Why are you being an idiot? How many people do we have in our family that are veterans? That are military? Um, let's see. We have a lot, Baba. Hey, Daddy, I know. Get back to you on it. <laughs> I'll get back to you on it. As I said before, I come from a military family. I respect them. In fact, I am grateful for them. I also respect officers, but if an officer is going to do that to someone I respect, I mean, yeah, I respect officers, but an officer that would do that to someone that I, you know, that I can kind of relate to, go to hell. I don't care if you're older than me or if you're okay, more skilled in me than me. I don't care. If you're going to do that to a veteran who fought for your rights, go to hell. Okay, sit back. Okay, introduction to Brutus. Brutus. You get to introduce him on your channel. Brutus the puppy. Mad Brutus. Now, for your question, there's both your grandfathers. Yep, it was her question. Okay, it was both your grandfathers, uh, both your great grandfathers on my side. Um, I'm not sure about on mom's side. I know, I think two or three of her uncles that I've met that I know. Um, Y'all have on my side, three of Papa's brothers um, that I know of. Daddy. Two uncles, two, two of your uncles on my side. No. What I tell you about names? Big Chi. Um, you also have uh, two others. Um, that I am guaranteed for sure of. No, wait. Four uncles, five uncles on my side. Um, Dio, he almost did um, medical purposes. He couldn't go through, he couldn't continue on through boot. Um, but that was due to medical reasons. Um, you have, I believe... Two or three cousins that served. Um, shit, I take it back. You got a lot of uncles. We have aunts a lot and of uncles. We have aunts, a lot of a family. lot. You've got a lot of aunts and uncles that served. Most of them in the Marines. Okay. So, anyways, to continue on. But as I was saying, number three, how was he resisting arrest if just, okay, I understand that the police officers thought he was resisting. I understand if they thought that, but no, no, he no. was not resisting. Hey, 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 hold on. It's not so much as they thought is they got him on disorderly conduct, knowing damn good and well he's paralyzed. I think he's understand he was paralyzed in his right leg. 
and I believe his right arm or his left leg. Oh no, it was Big Chi's the one that told me about this. It wasn't Amal, it was it was Big Chi. Um but he's the one that made the comment of it. About and then he he sent me a couple links and that's how I found this one. I just Okay, it's so it's disrespectful to put someone on the ground that fought for your freedom. They don't care. They're brainwashed by the previous presidential idiots. They touched him first and were where was he resisting? Okay, hold on. I want to I want to I want to do this. They also took his phone away from him. Okay. Come on, turn. Freddie is nine tenths of the law. Nine tenths of the law. Tenths. Sorry, my list came back for a moment. And it's possession is nine tenths of the law. No! All right. I wanted Pop to. Let me hold Brutus. Pop. Okay, you hold this and you catch that. No, turn it sideways. You can't. Hey, 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 come on. I got a cigarette right there. Back away. Back away from the cigarette. Okay, catch this part on video. Can you see that? The man was then pepper sprayed and continued to resist until multiple officers were able to subdue him and put him into handcuffs. He was transported to Saint, Saint Francis Hospital in Mu Mus Muskegee, Oklahoma. Muskegee by Muskegee Country uh, yeah, EMS like to be checked for injuries he was claiming to have sustained. Okay, hold on. I want to see something. I'm wanting to... I want to count the deputies or the officers. Okay. Okay, there are one, two, three. I can see four definite officers. Four to take down one man. Oh, wait. They touched him first. Okay, not a good. Damn it, I still didn't see it. Oh well. I seen like three. I seen I seen four definite. Man, oh, I already read three. that. Okay. Claiming now, you notice that claiming, right? Muskogee. And now he's paralyzed from the waist down. This happened on Friday. Today is Sunday. Um, I finally got all the video from him because he is a sub, believe it or not. And uh, he knows his rights from watching me and all the other auditors out there. Um, he tried to stand up for his rights, so to speak, as much as he could. <coughs> If you can believe that. So, all the contact information will be in the um, in the description. And uh, if you're as disgusted as I am, well, let it be known. Okay, I want to see something. Don't. Um. Okay, I just, I want to know why they did to that. I mean, uh, that man fought for your rights. Respect him. Say thank you for your service. I'm sorry I did that. That's all you got to say. That's it. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less, and then go. Leave the poor man alone. So that way he can go on with his life. <coughs> what, he had two kids? Uh, he had I kids. believe I believe he said they said that he there was he was there with two kids. He was there with his wife and kids. 
You okay. want to do that in front okay, of the quick, kids? Okay, real quick, real quick. When 36-year-old... I need my glasses for this. Blind. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> when 36-year-old disabled vet Jason Williams went to Walmart with his family, the clerk refused to sell him beer because his wife did not have an ID, plus her two minor children were with them. Mr. Williams became a little loud due to the rudeness of the clerk and her supervisor. Jason asked to see the policy and make a formal complaint and to make a formal complaint. The supervisor told him to wait. Instead of producing a complaint form, she actually called the police. Jason Williams knows his rights. He knows that a cop must have a must have RAS, reasonable art, articulable, articulable suspicion, before demanding identification, and he was going to assist on his right, insist on his rights, the ones he sacrificed for. The Muskogee public info officer then released a story to the Muskogee citizens that in no way matches Jason Williams' video of events. They also conspired. They also conspired on this video to find a way to arrest Williams. Viewers can help bring awareness to the elected officials of this town by redressing grievances with the contact number below. Okay, there's their phone number. Uh, so that's the Walmart phone number. That's the Muskogee police, the Muskogee uh, city mayor, manager and mayor's office, Walmart corporate office, officers and badge numbers. Okay, there's four listed. Philpot number 516, Wilkins number 524, Rochel, Rochel, Rochel. R O C H E L question mark number five one eight and Schultz number five one five. Um yeah, so pretty much basically I hope y'all heard all that. Uh the Walmart, the Muskogee Walmart phone number is nine one eight six eight seven zero zero five eight. The Muskogee Police is 918-683-8000. The Muskogee City Manager and Mayor's Office is 918-682-6602. The Walmart Corporate Office is 1-800-925-6278. Yeah, I would like to see these officers taken down as well. I wonder if this is the same Phil Pot that I know. Okay. So I'm done with this video. As I was now. saying, you would arrest a man in front of his children and wife. and wife, all because he wanted to report something that he did not like. How messed up in the head are you? Were you dropped as a baby? Must have been. Why are you in a why why are you a police? Why? Police man. Like I said before, I come from a military family. We all come from a military family. Here. It's messed up that police officers <clears throat> did that <coughs> whenever he informed them not only of his rights, he cannot fight. He had a wheelchair with him. You're going to take someone down and use pepper spray and then just... It was messed up. He was already paralyzed in one leg. Thanks to you guys, you officers. You idiots. You baka bulso. He cannot... He can no longer <coughs> stand. He was paralyzed in one leg. Now he's paralyzed from waist down. How messed up are you? Must be them. I
if I knew you guys, if I was one of y'all friends or one of y'all mamas, I would have been able to slap the living crap out of you. Because <coughs> I take absolutely none of that. That is the bull crap. I hate. I'm 13. I'm in middle school. I'm going to be going to ninth grade next year. High school. <coughs> I already have someone that I already want to kill. Now I have multiple <coughs> I want to kill. You don't want to kill. No, I wouldn't want to kill a police officer. officer. No, I would just hurt them. No, I wouldn't even do that. I know better. But I really wish I was one of, one of their moms. So that way I could slap them. Because that is being an idiot. Someone that fought for your rights. Someone that almost that might have almost lost their lives for you. And you put them on the ground and paralyze them even more. How messed up are you? I want to know that. Just somebody, please get in contact with them and ask, <coughs> get in, in contact with them or their or their parents and ask them where you dropped on your head, or how stupid must you be in order to take down someone who not only has a wheelchair. Who fought for your rights, who, om who might have almost died, has two children they have to provide for, plus their wife, and so you paralyze them even more and you put them on, you put them on the ground. You had a whole group of officers to take down one man. One man. I... I can, and I know I can. I can take on about two people, twice of me. And I'm small for my age. I'm small. In fact, I have two, two brothers at school that are almost twice the size of, of me. And I bet you I can take them down. Boys who absolutely love to fight and bicker with each other. And I can take them down easily. One of them is full blood Puerto Rican. Full blood. Exactly. He was treated wrong. No. A guy said he was a hero who got treated wrong. Exactly. Shut up. He was treated wrong. He shouldn't be treated like that. Exactly. I just, I want to know how messed up somebody can be in order to do that. Same. My grandfather, whenever he was alive, God bless his soul. God bless you, Jason Williams. I hope you're okay. I hope you are reunited with your family. I just, God bless anyone who ever fought in the in any armed forces for our rights god bless you all thank you thank you all i just i don't like that how somebody can disrespect someone who fought for your rights That's just messed up. how messed up must you be Sorry. no we have rights. I know these rights. I know. I actually don't subscribe to her. But I resubscribed. I know all, almost all of the amendments. Because I went through civics. I had to memorize them for my exams. I still know them. I don't know all of the laws, but I know a decent amount. All because of my father, my grandfather, my uncles. I know them. And I know for sure 
that if anyone has the nerve to lay a hand on someone who fought for your rights, you are messed up. And I don't want anything to do with you. Have a good day. Bye, family. This was Rose Anderson.